Hello everyone, this is, well, uh, Texas Sports TV, but this isn't just Texas Sports we're talking about right now. This is just uh, every team in the NHL playoffs hockey. And I'm trying, this is uh, Trevor, a lot of T's in this one now that I've gone back to my name that I go by. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And so we're, the first two games, we're just going to skim through real quick because we already talked about them in a little half point recap that we did. And that's like within the Eastern Conference, really, the uh, only conference where there were sweeps. We got the Blue Jackets and then the disintegrated snapped away Lightning, where the Blue Jackets won 4 0. Uh, my picks were just like, I just happened to get one point because I picked the right amount of games. I picked four games, I just picked the wrong team. Trevor got nothing. Sadly, like I don't think he picked any number of games right, like in this entire series. He just got his points from picking the right teams. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one with the dead penguins, the Islanders just like took their thing and just stabbed the penguins in the back because they just swept them for all. Uh, I got nothing right from that. I picked them in seven games. Apparently, that's like way off. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't feel too bad because, like, uh, I'm not the only one who thought this was going to seven games. You were I, actually Trevor, more far off with the first series because you picked the wrong team in four games. That is that is all true. I did pick the wrong team in four games. You were as wrong uh, as you could get. <laughs> <laughs> I also picked one team to get the sweep, and it said they got swept. Okay. Well, ever. Pick the right team on this one. This is the first uh, time I pick the right team, which actually isn't that far. That's only the second game in. Uh, he picked the New York Islanders, and they just took their hockey stick and snapped the ping killing them. Well, there's that. And now let's talk to about the games that we haven't really talked about yet. And that the uh, Maple Leafs is always next year in the Boston Bruins. This game went to seven. It was. 4-3. Uh, trying to pull up the games, but San Luis being super slow right now. Yeah, if I, the, but this game, this series really was interesting. Like, if the game one, like the Maple Leafs dominated, and in game two, the Bruins dominated. And in game three, they were really close. It was like an interesting series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was really tight. Fun series to watch. Uh, well... I picked the Maple Leafs in seven, and I can honestly I didn't get a single team right in the East, <laughs> like at all. I didn't get a single game right. I only got points in the East because I somehow picked the right number of games like two times. Uh, so the Toronto Maple Leafs in seven, it went to seven games this time. The Toronto Maple Leafs didn't get dominated like. Uh, People said, but they ended up losing to the Bruins. So there's that. I only have one point. Do you ever gonna talk about your pick? Uh, I just picked Boston in six. I, I I was pretty sure Boston was gonna win, but I thought they'd win in six instead of seven. Yeah. Let's talk, talk about there. It was. Uh, I was actually. I actually thought Maple Leafs had a chance once it went to seven games. Uh, but they disappointed me. Yeah. They disappointed me. Yeah. I guess I know what Maple Leafs are fans look every year now. Mm -hmm. For Frederick Anderson is the only reason this wasn't a sweep. He he was amazing for the Leafs playing goalie. Uh, yeah. So I know what Maple Leafs feel like every year. And we go to the next one. Hurricanes win... Hurricanes versus Capitals with their burning White House. The Kings won in seven. I'm a bit surprised by this because, again, I watch Aaron A.B. Tree for my hockey debut, and he always has those videos where the Kings are trash. Mm -hmm. And look, people are actually coming to our games for once. It's just so, so I'm a little surprised. But I guess it's kind of ironic. You got the Capitals, who 
could never get past the second round, and then they win for the first time in franchise history, and then they just lose to the horrible Canes next year. So I guess that's a bit ironic. Yeah. Do you need that? Uh, Carolina's fans were really impressive. They had really good uh, atmospheres in their arenas mm -hmm. when they played. This uh, this series was the first six games actually, actually were won by the home team, and it was pretty dominant. I, I don't know the exact scores, but through the first six games, the home team basically had three times the goals as the away team did. Yeah. And so this one... Nobody got points. Uh, I had Capitals in five games. It didn't go in five games, and the Capitals didn't win. It was just shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had the Capitals in six games. I thought it was going to be a tough series for them, but I, I honestly didn't see any way that Carolina was going to end up winning, but they did. They did. Hey, you were closer, though. If you were picking seven, you would have got a point. But so in the Eastern Conference, I got two points for picking the right games, and I Trevor got two points for picking the right teams. And then we go into the NHL Western Conference. And the very first game there is between the St. Louis Blues and the Winnipeg Jets. And the Jets kind of crashed and burned. Uh this one I was, I didn't pay too much close of attention to, but I was happy because I actually picked the right team. This is where is different. His conference, he picked the right teams uh, more than often than I did. I picked nothing right when it came to the teams. The Western Conference, I picked the right teams, and and he picked nothing right when it came to the West. Yeah. So my conference. Apparently, I know, even though I don't watch hockey that much. In his conference, he obviously knows. Uh -huh. And St. Louis Blues, I picked them to win in seven games. I honestly thought it would go to seven. Uh, it didn't. The St. Louis Blues kind of handled things uh, better than I kind of thought they would. I thought it would be a much closer game, but no, they were. They did a little better. Uh, it's not like this was still a close series. Like, the games, they weren't, like, blowouts or anything. But I just thought it would be more of a back-and-forth when it came to the wins. But yeah, I picked the right team. When, Winnipeg was mentally weak here. I, I wanted them to win, but they were choking third-period leads like it was nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, but they were still more like blowouts. Yeah. And they won, what, two games? Yeah. If they was just won one more, but yeah, I got one point in seven games. And Trevor, he also thought it would go to seven. Uh -huh. He picked the Jets. Like I said, he he got like none of the they number of games right. He got none of the number of games right. Which we'll go into a bit later at the end. But he picked Winnipeg in seven. So he got zero points because that did not happen. And then the next game is my Dallas Stars versus the Nashville Predators, who are now extinct, if you heard. And one thing that I think I heard, which I think I found interesting, was this was the first... Uh, I don't know if it's right. I'm asking you about it. This is the first time all the division winners were just wiped out and they kicked out the first round. Yep. First time ever that uh, all four division winners lost in the first round. And I believe it had happened where three of them had gotten knocked out only one time before. So very rare thing. So if you are a hockey fan, and or you're like me and you just kind of jumped in this season just because uh, you just saw history happen, which is pretty cool. Uh, this 
the Stars, uh, they won this series 4-2. Uh, they won it in six, which is awesome because I picked my Stars. You never pick against your team in the playoffs. That's my one rule. Like, I don't care what your team is or anything. If I, if you're a fan of a team and you pick your team to win in the playoffs, I will never fault it against you because that that's my one rule you should do. <laughs> like, there's a difference between regular season and postseason. They won. I thought it would go to seven, though, because I did – I did see how good the Predators were. So my hope was, like, if we win, it'd probably be in seven. But mm-hmm. it wasn't. We won in that. Six games. In six games. And Turfer was just wrong and wrong. Uh, he picked the Predators in four games. Uh, I think what you said was, he, it's not because you didn't have respect for my team. It's just because you said they were going to be closely fought. Games where it looked yeah. like a blow up, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Well, I was right on the fact that they would be close. There, it was either game four, or game game three or four in Dallas that Dallas won, won like four or five to one or something like that. It was, five, it was five to one, and it was like game. It was game four because yeah. we we won yeah. game one, and uh, apart, three to two. Apart from that. I believe every goal, every game was a one-score game, with the exception of maybe an empty net goal at the end. Yes, and because and that is very accurate. Because uh, game one was three to two, game two was two to one, game three was three to two. Then there was suddenly game four, which was like odd. It was like it was it was just the odd bunch out of it, and that was the five to one game. And then the next one, we won by two, and it was an empty netter. Then the last two was a one-score game. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, shoot. Sharks won four to three. <laughs> they didn't win three to three. That's odd, but they won four to three. <laughs> uh, they won in seven, uh, which honestly surprises me. I'm disappointed. I thought the Golden Knights would do so much better. This is a team. I know they're an expansion team. This is only the second year, but when you make it all the way to the Stanley Cups, you're in your first year. I'm sorry. It's it's Stanley Cup or bust for the next few years. So this is just a huge disappointment for the Golden Knights. And I know they went to seven games. Not enough. You should have won. Yeah. Uh... I thought Vegas was winning in six. I they should have won. They should have. Like, like they got absurdly screwed by a call late in the game of game seven when they were up three to nothing, and they just got completely screwed by a terrible call. That doesn't excuse their horrible penalty kill, allowing four goals in four minutes. But also, if if that call isn't made, the the penalty kill should have never been out there in the first place. So, I mean, they were up 3-1. That it wasn't a big deal to see them lose Game 5 back in San Jose, but they really should have closed it out at home in Game 6. Yes. But, yeah. Yep. Well, Mark, this was just a- it was a tale of... There's two different worlds for Martin Jones. It was absolutely awful playing goalie for San Jose in the first four games. He was terrible. Per- allowed like four, four and a half goals a game, I think. And then games five, six, and seven, he was great. I think it was a sub two goals against average. 940 something save percentage. He's very good in those games. He completely turned it around. Yeah, so because I picked uh, Golden Knights in seven, I once again somehow picked the right number of games. I got a point, and he picked nothing right, Golden Knights in six, so he got zero points. Just by on how our point system works that I set up. The next one, the Avalanche one in four to one. Which, again, from an outsider, really surprised me because of how well they handled the Avalanche in the regular season. In, and, But this was something I was kind of closely watching because I did, I, like I said before, I like the interesting concept of hot versus cold. I just, 
They're the flames versus the avalanche. Fire versus ice. I just like that concept. But sadly, for Texas, because we're hot, the cold won. They won in six games. Uh, so they were kind of pretty... Ha- they, the flames were handled pretty well. I think they won game one, but then they just lost the, the next four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they won game one. They lost the next four. So they, I got one point from it because I picked the right game again. And... Trevor picked it at six. Uh, he was only one game off, but he got no points for that because he picked the right number of the wrong number of games and he picked the wrong team. Mm-hmm. So in the West, I got four points and Trevor got zero points. So we tied in the East, but I won in the West. And so when it came to the total number of uh, points between us, I got a total of six points uh, and zero bonus points, which makes my total being six. Trevor got two points and zero bonus points, so he got two. And the bonus points were if you get the game, number of games, and the team name, the team winner, right. So you got bonus points for that. None of us got that. Uh, So I won during that breakdown. Uh, but if we go to go on to the next slide, uh, I kind of separated the points based on purely team picks. So we're exactly tied right there. Uh, I picked the two right in the West, and Trevor picked the two right on the East. I am 0% on the East. He's 0% on the West. I'm 50% in the West, and he's 50% in the East. So it's a little, it's a little interesting there. And honestly... The fact that I'm tying someone who's a hockey fan when it comes to pure team picks and I'm beating him when it comes to like number of games and stuff like that <laughs> and I'm on the outside, I know a lot of it has got to be beginner's luck because you know how that is. Like when you first start something, you do really good, but then all of a sudden you do crap. Mm-hmm. So I just, there's got to be beginner's luck, but I'll say I feel really good. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for the recap part. That wasn't too drawn out, right? No. Nah.